Here in the last few days, I've spent a lot of time working on DTOS, adding a lot of new features. I've tried to fix a lot of bugs that had kind of creeped into DTOS here recently. And today what I wanted to do is I wanted to run through a quick installation of DTOS on Arco Linux. And the reason I'm choosing Arco Linux is because Arco is in line with mainline Arch as far as their repositories. Right now, Manjaro, you can't install DTOS correctly on Manjaro right now because the version of Xmonad that Manjaro is on, it's incompatible with the DTOS Xmonad package. So I've already grabbed an ISO of Arco Linux B with the awesome window manager. And uh, some of the new features that you will notice when I run through the installation is now I have included the option to install multiple window managers, not just Xmonad. Now you're gonna have the option right now of installing either Qtile or Awesome along with it. Eventually I'm gonna add DWM and maybe down the road I might add EXWM as well. So I've spun up a virtual machine here. Again, this is Arco Linux B. This is the awesome window manager edition. And let me go ahead and fix the screen resolution. So to fix the screen resolution inside a virtual machine, if you're using XORG, you can use the XRander command. If you do XRander without any arguments, you will see the listing of all the available screen resolutions. And then once you have that, you could do XRander space dash S for set, and then pick any of these available resolutions resolutions and I'm going to do 1920 by 1080 and now that we've got a better screen resolution I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to zoom in if I can I've got to figure out what key binding they're using to zoom and let's go ahead and download the DTOS installation script. So to get the DTOS installation script, you need to git clone the DTOS repository. So run git clone and then https colon slash slash gitlab.com slash DTOS slash DTOS dot git. And then we just cloned the DTOS repository. If I did a ls, we're in my home directory here. You see I now have a folder called DTOS. Let's go ahead and cd into that directory. If I do a ls in that directory, you will see there is this DTOS script and it's colored green here. That means it's executable. So now let's run through the installation. So let's run the script. So you do dot slash and then name of script to execute a bash script. And then we get this screen here. Now it says, the script that you will install is what I sarcastically call DTOS, yada, yada, yada. It explains exactly what DTOS is. Just hit OK on this screen. The next screen is a warning message, basically warning you that while the script works on all Arch-based distros, some distros choose to package certain things that we, DTOS, also package. Please look at the package list and remove conflicts manually. Are you sure you want to continue? So that's just letting you know if the installation fails is because the Arch-based distribution you're running probably packages packages some of the same stuff that I also package in the DTOS core repository and there's a conflict that has to be resolved typically what you'll do and let's imagine that you have a conflict what you'll want to do let me exit out of this if I do an ls there is this file here package list so if I open with vim package list.txt this is just a list of all the packages that pacman will use during the installation so for example i know for example for a while endeavor os packaged their own version of yad i think it was called eos dash yad or maybe it was yad dash eos i forget which one but it conflicts with the yad i was trying to install and the only way to get around that is to actually go into this package list, find YAD, and delete it if you were trying to install this on Endeavor. I don't know if that conflict still exists, but that's what you would have to do. So let's run the script again. And this time, let's really run it. I won't cancel it this time. So I'm going to hit OK on this first screen. The warning about Arch-based distros packaging things that could conflict. I'm going to continue. And now we get an important warning here that we can't actually bypass. This warning says, your locales have not been set. Please check that both the lang and the lc underscore c type variables are set to the appropriate locale and slash etsy slash locale dot conf. Okay, and then it gives you a link to an Arch wiki page about setting locales. So now there's nothing you can do here except hit enter, hit OK, and it exits out and it prints the warning to the terminal as well as terminal output because in case you didn't get everything from the dialog box, I tell you exactly the variables again, the lang and the lc underscore c type variables. I tell you what file they should go in and then I tell you the terminal commands to generate the locale. 
And this is very, very easy. Uh, this sounds complicated, but all you need to do is with sudo privileges, uh, open with any text editor you, you like. I'm going to open this with Vim, slash Etsy, slash locale.conf. And this is what this file should look like. It should have some things in it. One of the most important ones, of course, is the very first one, Lang. And typically, most people will have that set, especially if you installed this through an Arch-based distribution that uses a graphical installer. They probably made you choose a locale somewhere during the installation, and they probably set the Lang variable. But the one they didn't set, and it's important for DTOS, is the LC underscore C type variable. Just set that to the exact same thing you set the lang variable to. Then write and quit. And then I tell you again the output in the terminal, the command to run sudo locale dash gen. So sudo locale dash gen. And then you need to reboot the computer for that locale change to take effect. So we have to reboot. And then once it reboots, we're going to rerun the script and everything should work. We should get no warnings. And I'm back inside the uh, awesome window manager here. Let me open a terminal and once again zoom in and let me cd back into the DTOS directory. ls again, you see our script is still there. And let's go ahead and run the DTOS installation script. And now we get the welcome screen, we get the warning if you're using an arch base distro. And now it no longer warns us about the locales. We get a different warning message this time that says the DT installation script is currently in public beta testing. So if, really, if you want to try this on like a main production machine, you've been warned it's beta software. I'm not responsible if you trash your machine. So <laughs> and let's begin the installation. So it added the DTOS core repository to our pacman.conf. It also downloaded my keys from the key server. And then what it's asking, the very first question, you will notice this is new. Do you wish to install Xmonad? Y for yes. And then, of course, it's going to install some stuff. Xmonad, Xmobar, and various Haskell libraries. And then it finishes installing Xmonad and those related packages. Now we get another question. Do you want to install Awesome? And yes, I'm, I'm actually going to choose yes for all the window manager options. But if you choose no, that's fine. It'll just skip that one and move to the next one. So Awesome really doesn't have any extra dependencies here because I'm already using Awesome Window Manager. It's already installed on Arco Linux Awesome Edition. And now it's asking, do you want to install Qtile? And once again, why for yes. Qtile has just a few Python dependencies that are not already present on the system. And then after it installs that, it's going to install everything in the package list.txt file that I showed you earlier, which is programs that are kind of used regardless of window manager. It's going to install the Alacrity terminal and all the shells. It's going to install uh, some other various utilities. And it finished installing everything from Pac-Man, and now what it's doing, it's doing an installation of Doom Emacs, which it runs a uh, git clone of the Doom Emacs repository, and then it has to build some packages for Emacs. And this actually takes the longest part of the DTOS installation. Usually it takes about 10 minutes or so for Doom Emacs to finish building. And it's finished installing Doom Emacs. Now it's asking for a sudo password for something. And that sudo password looks like it was going to recompile xmonad for us. It's also running the change shell command. So what do you want your user's default shell to be? Now on Arch and Arch-based distros, the default system shell is always bash. I suggest always leaving the default system shell set to bash. That's kind of the de facto standard on Linux. But your user shell, you can use anything for your user shell. I like fish, so I'm going to choose one, and then I'm going to hit enter. Then it's going to ask, do you want to reboot to get your DTOS? So let's reboot the machine. And of course, the DTOS installation looks like it completed just fine because this is my SDDM login manager theme. And let's see if we have all of our login managers. So we have Awesome, which we were already using Argo Linux Awesome. But now this will be using my awesome window manager config. We also have Qtile. We also have Qtile Wayland. Now make sure if you're on Xorg, and almost everybody probably will be on Xorg, to always choose Qtile. Don't choose Qtile Wayland because if you're not really using Wayland, you're just going to get a black screen and it's going to be locked up and you're going to have to hard reboot your computer. So uh, we also have, of course, Xmonad. So let's see if they actually work. So let's start with awesome. We'll go in alphabetical order. 
and we get my <laughs> login sound. Uh, it looks like Arco Linux still has some stuff set to auto start, but we can clean that out. What I would do is uh, in DTOS, Super Shift Enter brings up D menu, and then I installed PC Man FM for our file manager. Let me go ahead and right click and choose show hidden files and in your dot config directory you should have an auto start directory and in here this is everything that is set to auto start. I really don't want the welcome application starting anymore. I also don't want whatever this conky thing is to start up anymore because I've got my own conkies that are going to start up with each of these window managers. Super Shift C to close windows here in DTOS. But everything looks fine with the awesome window manager, right? Uh, the terminal, my alacrity looks good. Let's go ahead and launch Doomy Max for the very first time. Typically when you launch it for the very first time, it's going to ask you about installing some extra emojis and some extra fonts, which you really need. So choose yes for this. And then once it installs those fonts, if I close Doomy Max now, it's going to ask for confirmation to close. And now when I relaunch it, hopefully it will look like my Doom Emacs with all my fonts. Uh, we don't get the dashboard or anything because the Emacs daemon is not running. It will run by default the next time we do this. It's just the very first time we run this. It doesn't start by default. Let me actually exit out of the awesome window manager. So Super Shift Q to quit. You'll get this D menu script. And what do we want to do? We want to log out and just for confirmation. And I'm just going to log right back in. We get the welcome screen, the terminal and everything opens just fine, closes just fine. Now, Super E followed by E, that's a key chord, should launch Doom Emacs as an Emacs client because now the daemon is running in the background. So that is really cool. Again, everything here inside Awesome looks like it's working just fine. If I wanted to change layouts, yeah, we could super tab to change all the layouts. Now, I've still got a lot of work to do with the Awesome config. I've already packaged it up and I went ahead and added it to DTOS as an option, mainly just because if I waited until everything was perfect, I would have never gotten it packaged up and ready. So just know Awesome is not as fleshed out as Xmonad is just yet. There could be some bugs with it, but let's go ahead and log out and let's go ahead and try out the Qtile session here. So let me choose Qtile, not Qtile Wayland, but just Qtile. Now already I can see that Qtile has a bug because this is conky, but for some reason it's a floating window when obviously that's not what it should be, right? So let's kill the conky. So I will fix that when I'm done here. I'll make a note of that. Yeah, I, that's strange that that conky is like that. Uh, we're getting an error that desktop manager is not active. And that desktop manager should be LX session. And we definitely don't have a desktop manager because I don't have a SysTray or our SysTray applets. So let me go ahead and just open some terminals. Everything looks good here. Doom Emacs, again, Super E followed by E opens the dashboard. Close that Super E followed by D will open up Dyriad, the file manager inside Doom Emacs. Super E S will open up the E shell if I wanted to do something with the E shell. Again, Qtile. I've got some work to do on it too, obviously. I mean, we already spotted one error with that conky. So uh, just know, even though they're packaged up and they are an option for you right now inside DTOS, I've got some bugs to work out. Super Shift Q to quit. And we don't get a D menu script. I should fix that. That just kills it right away. No confirmation. I should make that the DM dash logout script. Now let me go ahead and choose Xmonad. And I know Xmonad should work because this is the one, obviously. We spend the most time on, or I've spent the most time on making work. And yeah, everything works in the D-Menu and the terminals. And we get a little sound every time you open up D-Menu. Super E followed by E will open up Emacs and all the other Emacs related bindings. So yeah, everything seems to be working. So that was just a very quick installation of DTOS on top of Arco Linux. Again, still got some bugs to work out. I still am calling it beta software, but I really wanted to go ahead and at least get the awesome window manager and Qtile packaged up and available as far as the installation. And even though they're buggy, I don't mind people going ahead and installing them and discovering bugs. I hope you guys file bug reports over on my GitLab. Or for those of you that can immediately spot what the bugs are, if they're simple enough to fix, yeah, go ahead and, and make a, a merge request. And guys, 
help me fix the bugs, right? And I'll be happy to take any help I can get. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Dustin Gabe, James, Matt, Maxim, Michael Mitchell, Paul West, Wanya Ball, Homie, Alan, Armor Dragon, Chuck, Amanda, Rary, Dioka, Dylan, Marstrom, Arian, Alexander, Peace, Sergeant Fedora, Polydet, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Stephen Willie, Tools, Devler. Uh, okay, these guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This quick installation of DTOS on Arco Linux would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. These are the A through Ks, and on this screen, we're going to do the L through Zs. These are all my patrons over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. You guys know I'm dependent on you guys, right? If you want to support my work, please subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. I squash one bug and two more appear.